Hi, I am going to start doing this video blog, or a blog, as all the hip kids around town call it nowadays. Um, I'm going to start doing like movie reviews, TV reviews, just and things that annoy me or things that I hate. Love you, Kingsley. You're my favorite. I have to say that right now because he is my favorite. So right now I'm going to do two movie reviews because one of them is kind of late because the movie came out like a month ago, but the other one is really recent. Um, first one I'm going to do is Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Um, I saw it the Monday after it released in theaters with my boyfriend because I, he bought me the books for, my, for our anniversary and um, I read all six of them in one day because they're that awesome. I'm not even a video game nerd and I like them. And same thing with he's a video game nerd and he actually liked them. So we went to go see the movie. And the movie itself, for a book adaptation, they did it really well. It played on the screen. Well, the only thing I have to complain about is that X's number five and six didn't get that much screen time and they kind of changed the little minor details. But in general, I enjoyed the movie. Second movie. This one is going to be a little. Uh, devil. I did not see it in theaters. I actually watched it online because. I have no money and I didn't want to waste my money and get pissed off because in that Shamalama Ding Dong can't make movies. Right. So, movie itself. I wanted to go see it in theaters because the trailer made me want to see it. It just kept me on the edge the whole trailer. I'm like, turn off the light! that whole creepy thing kind of freaked me out and I really wanted to go see it and then I watched it yesterday and I was like um no <laughs> this movie is terrible I mean acting wise it's great the acting is amazing and the fact they had small actors and the Snozberries guy from Super Troopers yeah but um the story it's kind of playing out like signs. The first two acts are like so amazing, and then the third act just kind of ends, and you're like, What is this? What is this? I don't need it. I, it's just weird. And I'm not going to give away the ending because I'm not a spoiler. Unless if you unless you guys really want me to give away the ending, I won't give away the ending unless you've already figured out me. 4chan and IMDb, they all gave away the ending. If you look hard enough, you can find it. Um, so, um, that movie sucked, so I'm not even going to waste my time talking about it, because in that show, that actually gave me hope. I'm so glad he didn't direct it, because I think if he did, it would have turned out a lot worse than it was, but the fact that he wrote it, and he's produced it, and all this crap, kind of made me go, hmm, because especially after The Last Airbender, after I wasted $10 going to see that bull crap, um, <laughs> So I have to put my two cents in about that. I'm not going to talk about The Last Airbender. Never happened in my mind. Never happened. I'm not even a big fan of that show, but that movie was just like, no. No. Awful. Alright, this week in Things That Annoy Me. Facebook is serious business and people hating on Taylor Swift. have a lot of things to talk about on this. Okay, um... Off. Facebook is serious business. I hate when people take Facebook seriously. It's annoying. Like, and you can't joke about anything because somebody's going to take offense to it. Like, I made a joke about orphans today, and nobody really said anything to me, but then I got a message from some woman who's from one of these girls, I'm not even friends with one of my friends, and she's like, you're really offensive. When my friends tell me what joke you put up, what is wrong with you? I was like, I got off Wikipedia, that's what's wrong with me. I go on Wikipedia and 4chan, I have problems. But, um, besides that, but what drives is fighting on Facebook stupid. It's like it's not a real interaction. You're not really talking to people. That and publicizing your relationship with your significant other, that's really annoying. Every five minutes saying, I love so and so so much. They're so awesome. Oh my god, love, 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 kissy, kissy. It's annoying. Nobody wants to see that. Especially people who are single, because I'm not single. 
but I know how it feels to see other people happy and you're miserable eating ice cream with your 20 cats in your house watching The Notebook for, mil for the millionth time. You know the feeling. So, I don't do that. I mean, I did, uh, me and my boyfriend would fight, I would sometimes put things like, he's such a jackass, or some, or, you know, if we broke up, you know, I changed my status from in a relationship to single, everybody would go crazy, and of course, it's my fault that we broke up, but, which, a couple times it was, my best friend stabbed me in the back, and decided to be a bitch, and bash me, and then, oh, she cheated on her boyfriend later, and then apologized, and we're not gonna talk about that, we're not gonna talk about that, but, um, that annoys me because I just get sick of seeing it. And it's like me and my boyfriend, we don't publicize a relationship. We talk to each other on the phone every night. And that's good enough for us. We don't have to be on Facebook. We have Skype. I mean, I talk to him on Skype all the time. But we don't go on Facebook and I don't go, well, me and Noah did this today. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, if we go on a date and say, well, I had a good time with Noah today, we had a fun time. I don't go, we had sex and on the beach and we watched such and such movie and he read me poetry by candlelight. No, mm -mm. not going to do that. That's annoying. But the serious thing is if you can't joke about things on Facebook with anybody anymore, everybody's so sensitive. Thanks, Bin Laden. Hangover reference. Sorry. Had to do it. But, um, fact of the matter is, is that, you know, you can't, like, I put on my about me one time. You know, I have some, you have some girls who go, my boyfriend's better than yours. I was in my about me. I said, I'm not going to say that because it's not true. I mean, my boyfriend's better than yours to me, but to you, I mean, my boyfriend's crap compared to yours. And so I kind of put that up. And, I mean, I had like four or five girlfriends who had that on there. But my boyfriend's girl was, oh, that's funny. You're poking fun at me. And this one girl messaged me, she's like, what is your problem? Why are you making fun of me? We're supposed to be civil, and you are taking shots at me. And I'm like, no, no, I'm not. Get your head out of your ass. I'm not making fun of you. You're not the only person who does that. So, um, yeah, my mouth gets me in trouble a lot. I will admit it. My mouth does get me in a lot of trouble. It's kind of sad. But, um... It's just annoying people take Facebook so seriously. It's like it's just a website. I could go on there and say that I'm six foot one, weigh ninety pounds, I've been on America's Next Top Mile Cycle Twelve. I wrestled Allison to the ground on that show. I've been on Bad Girls Club. Crap, I missed Bad Girls Club. Crap. I missed it. It's a guilty pleasure show. I'm sorry. I also hate people okay, the Taylor Swift. I don't understand why people hate Taylor Swift so much and why people feel the need to bash her or call her skank face or something stupid like that. I don't see why people do that because you don't see her in the tabloids for doing crack, Lindsay Lohan. You don't see her in the tabloids for being under house arrest or have that stupid house arrest break, you know, the uh, scram bracelet thing, Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> In general, you don't see anything bad about her in the tabloids, but all these people, I, I mean, I have a lot of friends on my Facebook who just take shots at her, and they hate her, and I'm like, I don't like her music, but as a person, I don't see what's so bad about her. I mean, I don't know her personally. I mean, she's not like my best friend. We text each other every day. Somebody took a shot at you today. Me. I mean, we don't do that, but it's, it's just like, I, it, I just don't get it. I mean, I make fun of Justin Bieber, but I'm not like, he's such a slut bag. No, his music's just really annoying. I mean, I understand if you don't like her music, but don't, like, bashing her as a person is like, she doesn't do anything. I mean, it, it's just ridiculous. I mean, I don't like Miley Cyrus with Justin Bieber. I don't like, I mean, Justin Bieber as a person, I don't have any problems with him, but just his music is really, really annoying. When pu puberty hits that kid, it's going to hit him like a Mack truck. I'll give you that right now. That's an old joke, but... I'll give you that right now. Crap. I have cleavage in my video. God. Anyway, I only have a few seconds left. But, point of the matter is, don't bash somebody just because you don't like their music. Mm-hmm. To be honest, the Kanye Taylor Swift thing was funny. Her song was cringingly bad on the VMAs, but, and Lady Gaga, I love you. I want to hug you. Really bad. I'm going to be here for Halloween. I'm serious. I will take pictures. Pics are didn't happen. It's happening. Anyway, so I'm going to try to do these once a week or maybe every other day. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to go because I just finished watching Glee and I'm going to go rant about it. So 
Bye. And um, if you want to find me on Twitter, it's Mandaruth FTW. Bye, me.